Hello everybody, it's Lynn. Well, today is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to everybody. I hope you're having um, a lovely day and uh, doing something that you like doing. Um, I just thought I'd come on and show you my how far I've got with this uh, double four patch. Now, I've sewn one of them together to show you. And this one, I've sewn the um, four squares. I've done two twos. There you go, two twos. And I'm just about to um, start sewing the four together. And how you get the so that they match when I mean match that's what I mean so you've got a line that runs straight like that how you do that is what you do is you've got one row of stitches going that way and on the other side your stitches go the opposite way now not everybody knows this um, I'm just you know, this is a beginner's video. It's not for those that are in the know. Um, I'm new to all this. And there you go. So one lays that way and one lays the opposite way. And then you pin it. I don't have any smaller pins than these. I'm going to have to buy some... Um, small pins for patchwork because these pins are too big you don't need pins that big so that's can you see it how it's uh one was going one way one's going the opposite way so that when you've stitched it um they lay flat just like this one has done so it's laying flat but that row of stitching there is in line and I've attached it to the ordinary bigger square um, and I've pressed it. So that's what that one looks like. The next one that gets attached to it, um, this one goes at the bottom and then these two there go like that. And that's how you get that. So. All I want to show you now, I think, is how to do um, I'm thinking, sorry, I know it's gone quiet. Um, what do they call this now? can't think it's gone out my head it's the knot that I'm going to show you how to do the quilters knot sorry sorry it took me a long time to get there but I got there in the end Quilters knot. Now I'd never heard of a quilters knot until the other day and I thought quilters knot, I've never heard of one of those. Because when I do a knot on the end of my um, thread I can never do that, you know, some people roll it round in the fingers, pull it and it's done. This one, quilters knot, it's easier. Leave a little tail like that, wrap it round your needle four, five, six times, as many times as you want, and then hold on to it, and then you pull it down the cotton, and then on the end, you'll have a little knot like that. I hope this is staying in focus for you. And it, at the end, you'll have a little knot like that, and then all you have to do is snip that bit off. And that is your quilter's knot. Now, I didn't know that. 
So there you go, you learn something new every day. It doesn't matter how old you are, you can st still learn new things. Now it tells you to pin these. I'm not really bothered about pinning because I can stitch without pinning. Um, and you do a back stitch for this. Now you could sew this on your machine if you wanted. It tells you to do one or two stitches to secure it as well. So the back stitch is just like if you were sewing on your sewing machine. And you stitch this above the line that you have drawn. And now I am stitch is I when I've put my needle in, when I bring it up the other side, I bring it so that it hits my nail at the bottom of my nail like that. I use the nail as the guide. I don't actually hit the nail, um, if you know what I mean. Otherwise, you'd split your nails. And I just run it along like that. And just keep going till you get to the other end. Now, this is as good as stitching on a machine, this hand stitching. I know some people these days they call it slow stitching, but I'm sorry, I'm old school. I can't get right my head round what is slow stitching. As far as I'm concerned, it's hand stitching. Um, I know some people can't move with the times, and yeah, I know. That's probably why I'm always a bit late to the party. Uh, because I don't move that quickly with the times. Um, I like the old methods, but that's just me. Um, so, yeah, this is how I'm stitching them together. The uh, four squares, you've stitched them uh, two squares together and two squares together. Then you move on to stitching four together. And I just want to do this to show you and I hope it's going to come out now. It may not uh, because I'm on camera. I just wanted to show you um, that once you've done it uh, opposite ways, your um, your seams. That's that. That's how you actually get your smooth line so it's a continuation um, as I say these pins are a bit big that's why I don't pin um, I need to get some quilting pins I think because they're a lot smaller than this that'll be the next thing on the list when I uh, I order something else let me take that out because it's in my way is that I know that that's there and it's laying like that so I hope my head's not in the way no it's not and you can see what I'm actually doing which I think you can and I hope it stays in focus for you now when you hit this where it's you've got four lots of fabric together go over it a few times just to secure it down because this is as good as Hans, um, machine stitching is this it won't come undone um, I did go wrong on the other one somewhere and I had to take it out and it took me a while to get it out <laughs> and I didn't did not think it would uh, but it did so yeah just go over your four lots of fabric quite a few times to make sure that the, they're all sewn down and laying how they should be laid. And it doesn't matter that it's all a bit wonky at the minute, as long as you've got your fabrics butted together and you're doing a straight stitch, because we can... Um, when you get to the end, what you do is um, you square it off once you've made your patch. You make your patch square then. 
so I just want to get to the end of here and then I'll let you go. Because I know you've all got better things to do than watch me all day. So I went for my COVID vaccine Friday and I've been okay. Um, I, it did give me a headache. Um, when I had it done, it felt like my arm uh, was heavy. My legs went heavy. Um, and uh, I didn't get a headache straight away, but um, the following day I had headache. Today I have a little bit of a headache, but not too bad. And I'm glad I've had it done. It says on the leaflet that they give you, you could end up having flu-like symptoms, but I've not had anything other than this head. And I don't know whether that's due to the vaccine or whether it could be atmospherics. Who knows? But um, I think it could be uh, due to uh, the vaccine. That's the iron, is that, if you're wondering what's pinging? It's my iron. Now when you get to the end, what you do is, you do a couple of over stitches and then go through your loop. A couple of times, pull it tight and what I like to do, I like to go to the back of the fabric and then I come up the front and then I cut it off and there you go there's your patch and can you see the lines more or less run straight I'm quite pleased with that um, I am going to unstitch this um, I find it therapeutic I'm enjoying doing it um, it's something that I can sit and do on an evening um, while I'm watching TV. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just give it a press for you. my next four patch that needs attaching now to um, this piece and that's what it looks like on the back these stitches run that way they meet up these are the two separate ones and they do meet look and then that's the one the row that I've just done and I've ironed it that way and ironing them opposite ways like that gives it strength as well. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to, now what I'm going to do is I'll go along and stitch that to that. And then when that opens, that's that. And then them two get stitched together and that's my square. So I may come back and show you that, but I just wanted to do that little video of how we do that today and thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video enjoy the rest of your day bye